New York City, the center of the world. Tourists from all over the world come and go every day of the year to Times Square. Here, 73-year-old Ms. Gao arrives at the same time every day to warmly greet strangers from China. New York's Pier 15 is where people go to visit the Statue of Liberty, and Ms. Chu can always be found among the crowd. The beautiful city of Lucerne, Switzerland, is a cultural center that attracts tourists from far and wide. Ms. Yang, a retired university executive now in her 70s, has been traveling three hours a day for the past 12 years to find the Chinese tourists there. Scenes like this are many and can be found in Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., Paris, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and over 100 other cities and regions around the globe. Thanks to the Tuaydong movement, almost 300 million people have renounced the Chinese Communist Party. What exactly are these Chinese people doing? And what is it that drives them? Yung 就愿意来提供这样的服务。In December 2004, the Epoch Times received the first public statement of withdrawal from the Chinese Communist Party. On January 1, 2005, a group of overseas Chinese scholars issued a joint statement of their withdrawal from the Chinese Communist Party and its affiliated organizations. Since then, the number of people participating in the three withdrawals has risen daily, climbing from dozens in the beginning to hundreds and now close to or more than 100,000 people every day. Every two seconds, on average, three Chinese people quit the CCP's three organizations. There are centers for quitting the CCP and volunteers all over the world who assist people to complete the three withdrawals in various ways. There is no shortage of government officials, diplomats, lawyers, teachers, and police department personnel who work in the CCP system that are among those who quit the party. They're even more able to understand the nature of the CCP than the average person. They have a bird's eye view of the irreversible destruction of the CCP and have seen sooner than most that only a China free of the CCP has hope. On June 4, 2005, Mr. Chen Yonglin, then First Secretary of the Chinese Consulate General in Sydney, publicly announced his departure from the CCP at the June 4 rally in Sydney. On June 8, 2005, Mr. Hao Feng Jun, former official of the 610 office of Tianjin Public Security Bureau, publicly stated his withdrawal from the party during an interview by the major Australian media. On December 13, 2005, Mr. Gao Zhisheng, a lawyer known as China's Conscience, made a public statement of withdrawal from the party and set off a new upsurge for quitting the party. On March 11, 2009, Mr. Li Fengzhi, a former official of the Chinese Ministry of National Security, publicly announced his departure from the CCP. He was the first member of the intelligence system to publicly disengage from the CCP. I think the Tridang movement is vitally important to give those people who are in this evil system a chance to get out. 
那我希望所有了解这些真相的西方朋友都可以关注我们这个三退大潮，因为中国人三退大潮对中国人是好事，对全世界都是好事。I think with the CCP, we will face a better future. Do something, either you know from your heart or or anything you could to spread the truth. More than three thousand years ago. Moses led the persecuted Hebrews to leave ancient Egypt for the fertile land that the gods handed down. Today, the awakened Chinese are expressing the same idea in a peaceful manner. Martin Luther King said, "The greatest tragedy of this period of social transition was not the strident clamor of the bad people, but the appalling silence of the good people." Historically, the United States has been the world's beacon of freedom. The abandonment of communism by the Chinese people will also help the American people and the U.S. government resist the encroachment and control of the communist forces internally and globally. This hollowed body, this body that stands for freedom and justice and respect for human rights. To the leaders of China, do not be afraid of freedom. On September 23, 2011. Eight members of the U.S. House of Representatives, including U.S. Congressman Thaddeus G. McConnell, jointly submitted the 416th resolution of the House of Representatives. This is in solidarity with the Epoch Times' nine commentaries on the Communist Party editorial that has triggered the movement of nearly 300 million Chinese people quitting the CCP and its affiliated organizations. Many U.S. politicians have expressed their support for the tide of quitting the party by issuing speeches, writing letters, and by participating in assembly rallies. We firmly believe that people who defend justice and conscience will eventually win, and that history is not written for evil. At the turning point of history, no one can simply walk by. Let each of us make the right choice, witnessing. This historic moment together.